hello everyone welcome back thank you so much for being here i truly appreciate you all so guys in today's video pastor justin is here to tell us or respond to bbc documentary concerning tb joshua he said that uh, he have never met with a TB Joshua while TB Joshua was alive and he have never listened to TB Joshua's preaching because according to him, he said that uh, his preaching does not uh, correspond with TB Joshua's preaching. But that's something he said. He said that uh, after this BBC documentary, that's something change. You know, his thoughts towards TB Joshua changed and he defended TB Joshua. Let me just allow you guys to listen to him and I will be right back. The question is, was it true? Was it fake? And this is what everybody wants to hear. I have said something concerning TB Joshua when he passed. Hallelujah. I have never met TB Joshua. Surely you know I've never traveled to Nigeria. And I have never, I, I'm not even a follower of his um, broadcast. I've never followed his messages. I've never followed his prophecies. Not that there's anything wrong in what he does it doesn't just click with what i do okay there are other ministers other prophets that i follow and listen to uh like for me a pastor that teaches the lord will take my attention yeah if you teach more than anything you take my attention at the end of the day everybody's called different you no know, let me start this way even if i was i was not believing in tp joshua even if i was not believing in him with how things are going, I'm likely going to join those that believe. Even if. But here is what I want to say. I've never met him. The only time I met this man was in a revelation. I've never met him in the flesh and I did explain. that One day I was in a 14 days prayer and this man appeared and sitting at the bed, at the back of my bed. And all he told me was, the more you pray, the more you see. And then I turned and then he kind of like you know i don't want to say i must disappear or whatever but that that was all the only way that I had, he spoke to me was in a revelation that he told me the more you pray it is the more you see and then that's it um the problem with the story of tb joshua is on the fact that we want to box god i know there are men of god who came before us they are our fathers in the faith they know more than us They've seen more than us. The, one of the reasons why the church did not accept T.B. Joshua is on the fact that he doesn't have a record of being discipled by another pastor. So since he didn't come from any pastor that can say I raised him, they want to consider him fake. I think that is too critical to, to use as a standard. We have people in the Bible that we don't know who their spiritual father are and we should believe them. Hallelujah. And I know as you are seated here, you believe different things concerning the man. Some you believe he was the man of God. Some believe he wasn't the man of God. But look, I don't follow what people say. I follow what God reveals to me. So you keep your opinion to yourselves. But I can just tell you, be very cautious with what you say. Because we cannot use BBC to choose or to help us find the man of God. It is a wrong protocol. That media house is destined to make money at all cost. They don't review truth. They are there to make money. Are you still with me? The media house are not trying to review the truth to you. They are trying to make money. Anything that can give them more views than they make money, they will do it. If the man was fake and the people were talking about him being fake, those people were in his church among his disciples. The question, you know, sometimes an average, see, I, I, I can't understand who, who lead that documentary in BBC. Something is wrong with that brother. An average person, not school person, average. When someone bring you any accusation, there's one thing you must always ask, which is what? Proof. There should be proof that the man is fake. You can't use an interview. I mean, there is no proof. These people are talking about they, they were held hostage for 16 years. So you mean in 16 years you never called your family? You never even took a video because you knew you were held hostage. You were supposed to go to your family. Somehow you want to be free. You mean you never took even a, a screenshot, even a photo of his operations? You see, 
this i'm only commenting because it's not about the men it's about the church because they started with hubert angel okay they discredit hubert angel thank god it never worked they moved to uh, td jakes we may be clapping thinking that wow, wow they discredit those us who are coming up now we're having space no when they finish with our fathers they'll turn to anyone that carry power anyone that does any move of god will be a suspect because so far that's a narrative in any way if you carry the anointing you are a suspect be a cold pastor open john 3 16 and read it and say god bless you they will believe you and for me those are the people we must doubt the kingdom of god is not the kingdom of talks is the kingdom of power so pastor are you saying tb joshua was not was a man of god let me tell you my view and i don't mind what you think you you are entitled to your view i'm just saying be cautious okay based on my encounter i believe is a man of god based not what they are saying my encounter me what i saw don't really care and you can sit here you are entitled to your views you are human okay but I'm just saying, be careful to what you will say when you don't have proof to what you are believing. You can't use BBC to help you find the true man of God. Since when? Since when did the world get qualified to begin to tell us who is true is fake? Since when? We should be the one saying to the world, this is fake, this is true. I know there are men of God who have come up now and say, we've been telling you, we've been telling you. So according to that man of God, confirmation is coming from the world, not from God. It is the world now confirming your assumption over a, a man of God. I mean, it's, this is too low for the church to go. I you see people commenting, believers. You should hear from the Holy Spirit, not from a social media. Social media can make me say what I never said. Church, leave TB Joshua alone. If he was fake, it is not for you to judge. It is for God because that man is dead. Leave, leave him alone. Let his wife rest. Let our kids, children, so men. guys, that is it from the man of God. He said that he believed in TB Joshua. He believed that TB Joshua is a true man of God. That is own opinion. He said that everyone is entitled to his or her own opinion. You know, he said that as a Christian, that we are not supposed to have a confirmation from BBC to know who is fake and who is real. That is our, you know, duty to you know, have this spirit of discernment to know who is fake and who is not fake, that you don't allow any, you know, broadcast to, you know, give you a confirmation before you should know. So my people, I said, let me just bring this update to you guys to hear what this man of God said here. And I would love you guys to leave your thoughts. What do you think about this video? And if today is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates, like this video, share it as well. Thanks so much everyone for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye bye for now.